have a guest if you'd uh, like to introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Jeff Briggs, and uh, I'll be talking to you later in the short session. Great. Thanks, Jeff. And, uh, Greg, you want to introduce yourself, even though everybody knows who you are? Hi, I'm Greg Goodman from L.A. Santa Fe Company. I'm with the Duke Stone, Anthony Feld. Duke Bulgarian. Susan Levi, I manage the bed. Julia Levi, I have Mark Whitman. Good. Okay. Do we have any uh, public comments before we get into the minutes? Okay. Uh, has everybody had a chance to check the minutes? Yeah. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All right. All those in favor? Opposed? Uh, banners. Okay, so at the last board meeting, we approved uh, the expenditures and banners, and we discussed having them in color. And so um, and we're back to M Graph, and they came up with a yellow and an orange. Um, they thought they would help hold up the best, as opposed to a red, which would probably fade quickly and go with pink. Um, so we do need a decision on whether to go with orange or yellow. Kelly did suggest maybe going both and alternating them. It would be an increase in cost because it would be a reduction of, of one color goes down to two. So, um, he didn't, he didn't say exactly. But I did ask him what the orange, if the orange would eventually fade to yellow. And he said it would fade, but not actually get to a yellow, and yellow would stay yellow. It would just be a lighter orange. But yeah, I'm not a big orange fan, but it really is a very vibrant color. Just one color. I would just go with the orange. I like the orange. It's my favorite. Your pops. Pops, I like that. Pops. All right. Uh, somebody want to make a motion? Motion to approve orange as our new color for the banners. All right, I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? All right, so we're going to have orange banners. Tree trimming. And I apologize, item number six and uh, the duplicate on item number eight for tree trimming. Um, so at the last board meeting, you approved JMB's, uh, I'm sorry, Professional Tree Services proposal to trim all the trees in the district. And, but that was pending trying to get the council district or the city to uh, trim some of the trees. And so I've contacted CD9 and what we asked, we knew they weren't going to go for all of them. And so we asked specifically if they could do the trees on gauge between Central and Avalon. Um, I have not gotten a call back yet on confirmation. I emailed her uh, Friday and she said she's still she working on it. So um, we can wait another few weeks next meeting and see what happens and then get all the trees trimmed at that time. We wouldn't want to go later than June because it's, it's too hot in season and too much of uh, an impact on the trees. Or you could go ahead, you did approve, you know, within a timely manner, so mm -hmm. we could go ahead and just have them done it. Why we, well, you have it approved, right? So why don't we just table it till next time and because it's already approved, it can be just be approved. I agree. Who's good with that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, item uh, seven. So in the management district plan last year when we renewed, um, you recall that we reduced the assessment amounts for the first year to, for 12% for the first year. And the plan says the first year only. And then in year two, it would go back up to the nine cents per square foot. Um, and then there is the option of the 3% CPI increase. So we need to submit this data to the city by June 1st. Um, I am assuming that you don't want to impose the 3% increase and just go to the 9%. Um, but that's all for you to decide. You say 9% 9 cents. I'm, I'm sorry, 9 cents. That's 9 cents. Okay. And is there any reason to go beyond that to increase the 3%? No, we, our budget is, is okay, and uh, I, 
I think you'll be fine with, with just knowing the nine cents per square foot. And then the following year, if you decide and, and the budget allows, you could always reduce again. You just can't increase more than 3%. I think we can get along with where we're at the nine cents. Further discussion that we, we need to vote on this, right? Sort of. Well, it's, it's, set, it's set up as nine right now? No, currently you're at 0 .079, and but the plan says after year two, you would go to nine percent, nine, nine cents. Do we have to? It, do, we, it, do we stay where we're at? You know, I had a question about that, but the, the, the plan does say the first year only, and so and then you go back to what it was before the nine cents. So for, for the second year, it does need to go to nine cents. So the question is really whether you want to impose the additional 3% increase. Yeah. So motion to yep. leave, leave the rate and, and the current yes. file. As file. Right. I get the motion now. Second. Leaving it as it files. Right, as files. Okay. And no secrets. No secrets. No secrets. No secrets. Yeah. Yeah. Any other discussion? Yeah. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. That does not be great. We'll table that. Uh, okay, security update. Oscar? Okay, uh, we've been having a lot of drag racing up and down Florence. Uh, the guys have been driving around with small single cabs. And uh, the, the truck overturned outside our area. Happened about maybe a week ago, outside our district. So LAPD and also that accident. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys what happened here on Florence now or well, two cars were drag racing on, on the summer island at 4 during the afternoon. One of them took and went into the Shell gas station. Yeah, the Shell gas station. <laughs> So uh, CHP and the LAPD, they've been having motorcycle cops going up and down the street and fishing out tickets. But not only that, all around our area, I noticed that they didn't actually just allow people to drag race or just race down that road. You know, right. them, they, go, they go pretty fast, they go about 80. Sometimes I even pull over so they can pass. You know, so sometimes it looks like they're doing some kind of task force that around our district, which is uh, far down on South and Central. But there's a uh, motorcycle cops issue now tickets down the street a lot. <laughs> We've been pulling over a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, things have been still going on. Shell gas station, people walking out with candies. We're able to recover some of them, some of them we haven't. And, uh, you know, it's just kids that when they're on vacation, sometimes they just don't have nothing else to do. They come, they try to get a Gatorade, a uh, pack of Red Bulls, the small ones, and stuff like that. And uh, we've been doing pretty good at uh, escorting people out of properties. Uh, tenants, you know, sometimes they call us people just wander around the properties looking for work, so they just ask us to escort them out. Uh, the other day, uh, Greg, right, you called me, it was your housekeeper. The one that was, yeah, right, right. On, the, on the weekend, our, our right. guy tripped the alarm. Right. And we were able to zoom it was, in. It was a new guy, so he didn't know how to use the code. And he activated, he activated right. right. So we got his plates, we were able to identify the first thing. Cameras been coming in handy because sometimes when you still look at those bikes, we're able to get them back. <laughs> the people they still roam around the area, mm -hmm. so we recover some of the bikes back. And we're able to actually see when people sometimes break into cars, but we, we're not able to identify because sometimes other people come in here from you know, see, let us know. It was a call. You see them around the area, and things like that. We have been seeing a lot of uh, gang activity more than normal. So one day I asked the guy, and he was parked in front of Steve's property, and he hey, you know. Business is closed, they can go find somewhere else to hang out. He was asking me who we were. We're like, oh, we, you know, we control the area, we're, we're security out here. So I just came out of jail, I took in nine years. <laughs> so, you know, he didn't know who we were. <laughs> right, right. So just came, you just came out of nowhere. Oh, we've been here. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And um, they have a marijuana dispensary down here. Not a marijuana, we're growing plants right here, right across the street. Is that what they're doing in there? Yes. Is it illegal? I, I already told the senior D office. They have a security guard in there. Right. You've seen, you've seen the security guard, right? Yeah, I 
Yeah. Just because they have a security card there doesn't make it legal. Oh, I don't know. Did you smell it, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah no. you could smell it. We, but he's been getting the bunchies around day. two yeah. in the yeah. afternoon. Yeah, you could smell it. We sort of assumed that was what was in there. Yeah, because they have an armed guard out there just, you know, they just grow it, I think. What do you guys smell? Well, it smells because you guys just really, really smell it. It smells strong. Yeah. Especially on a hot day. Yes. I, I asked one of the guys that came out of there what they do. They said they make paintballs for paintball guns. Oh, that was before. But they left and now they got new tents. Yeah, the bad guy. That's what we're at. Nothing but the finest for sale. Yeah. <laughs> well, the whole half of November will probably all be like that. All right, anything else? Any, uh, anything else for Oscar? Yeah, Oscar, thank you. You did great work. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, we're not ready for uh, the uh, item B, right? Item B, we can discuss. Um, so we, we sent out a request for proposals for uh, security services. And um, Oscar has met with uh, three of the four companies. We've sent it out to four companies. The proposals are due on May 30th. I will uh, email them out to you as soon as I receive them for your review, and then we can discuss them at the next board meeting. Uh, item C, uh, Metro Video Proposal, they are supposed to be submitting a maintenance proposal as well as a proposal for the uh, license plate recognition and um, and repairing the gate arms. Those, one proposal came in at 8 o'clock this morning, the other one came in at 11. I did not, was not have the time to review it. I'm hoping you can review it, so I suggest we table it until the next meeting. Great. 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 So now uh, the board will go into an executive session to discuss